Hello, this is Orival here. Today I will talk to you about the AWS Lambda function. AWS Lambda function is a service, it is on menu compute Lambda. I'll create this small function to show you how, how easy it is. it is to create a Lambda function using Java. So let's open our IDE here. We have a lambda function here. Here we have a Maven project. This Maven project is pretty simple. I have only one dependency on AWS Lambda Java Core. And we also have a plugin to build that application. And here we have the handler class that implements the AWS request handler. And this request handler has a parameterized type request and a parameterized type response. It could be some primitive type or some, some class of the response, some response object, request object. And uh, the only what is necessary to run the, to to implement that request is implement the method that the interface asks you to implement. If he you will remove this code here, uh, the idea you show you you have to implement this method. So we implemented the method necessary for the request handler, which is exactly the handle request request I have implemented here. So in the, this implementation, the first parameter is the request we received as a parameter, in, and the second part, the second parameter is the context. So. Uh, uh, this is a hello world example. So uh, we just uh, say hello to the first name and last name and log. So the context, the second parameter, you can use it to have the access to the infrastructure of the, the, the Lambda function. So from that infrastructure, you can get a logger so we will log the greetings and we also will return the response, the response that the object declared at static class here. So we only take the request, log the first name and last name. And after logging the greetings, we will return a response with the same input we received. So uh, we have coded our Lambda function. Now you need to package that function. So in terminal, you can type mvn package. Let's package our our function. So we are going to upload that packaging to to AWS environment. Let's create a function here. The name will be. I have to. It's necessary to put the name here. So, tutorial one. What environment? That is several environment already supported by AWS Lambda, so like C Sharp and Go, Java 8, Node, and Python. But I want to use Java 8. And we need a role to run our application because it serves to access other service. It needs to have a role. It needs to have a permission. 
So let's create a permission, create a custom role for that uh, lambda. So we'll be open the IAM with the option to create a role that is a suggested suggested name here. And I will click allow, allow to permit that, uh, that role to access the, some resource. In fact, here, this lambda function have the access to create a log or something, some very simple access here. So I will click here, allow, and our role is created, and click on create function. Our lambda function is being created. If you click here, uh, we have a, an option to upload the function. So uh, let's click on upload. This is the jar we need, not the original jar. The original jar. It don't have the dependence we needed to run on AWS, so not the original. Let's take this one here and click it on, on open. You are okay loading. Uh, you have nothing to change here. If your function need more than 212 megabytes, you need to change here. But for this basic execution, you don't need it to change. Sometimes you need it to increase the timeout if it is very slow execution. That's not the case, so let's click on save. And uh, let's test our function. How do you test that function? Let's see, you need to create a, a test event. Let's create a test event. It's a JSON-like input to your function. What you have to put here? In, in that input parameter, it will receive the parameter, the first parameter on our method handle request. This render request is exactly that static class here. It has first name and last name. Let's copy here. Just show is our example. You have a first name, you have last name. Being John, second last name will be Lennon. So, This is our input to test our function. It's a test event. Click on create. You have to put a name here. Now you have a event to test your lambda. So click on next on test execution. You have some problem on execution because what you need here you need to, to tell to lambda who are our handler our handler is not that hello handler here our handler is the class that implements the handler our class that implements the request to handler is registration handler. You have to copy the full qualified name here, copy heifers. Let's paste the full qualified name here. And the method request handler is the, the same name. So let's click on save. We have the event selected here. Let's test our function. Click on test. Let's see the result. And our test succeed. And here is the result returned by the function. 
and you can see the log here is the the log you put on our code here we have a greeting to our first name last name but uh, how do you do to access that function from from the real world from the external world here is only an internal text test to access our function from the from out of the AWS environment, you can you need to create one of the way to access is to create a endpoint using our API gateway. So uh, let's open API gateway here. Let's open AWS console. API gateway is a easy way to create uh, APIs to access AWS services. API Gateway is under networking. API Gateway. So from here, we will create a API to access our Lambda function create if we can create api will be a rest api will be a new api you have to name this api uh, and only the name is okay let's click on create api Here, after we create our API, and you need to create a method. Let's create a, a method here, a HTTP method. It will be a post method. Click on check here. And you have created our post method. And we have option, several options to, to create APIs. It could be to access a Lambda function, a, a other HTTP endpoint, or it can be a mock, or to access other AWS service, VPC link, or so on. But for now, you use a API to access Lambda function, or Lambda function, the name starts with the video. Let's see the name of our Lambda function, Tutorial Lambda. The Tutorial Lambda. And let's click on Save. Here is other question about permission. You have a, need to give permission to our server API Gateway to access our Lambda service. Giving that permission here. Click on OK, OK button, and it, the method is created. And now, how can you test the, our API gateway to our Lambda? You can click it on Test here. If you click it here on Video Lambda, you click on the method API. Let's click on text, test, let's test that uh, API. To test the API, you need just to send a request body here. What is all, what you have to pass as parameters to our request body? We have to pass the parameter lambda is expecting. And Lambda is expecting that parameter here. You can use that parameter to test to this. Uh, if our API have access to our Lambda function. So let's put the body here, click on test, and let's see the result. We have the result our API could access our Lambda function. But uh, what I need to do 
is access that the API from outside the Amazon environment. What I will do now is deploy that API. So by deploying that API, it will be open to the world. Let's click on deploy API. And you have a, a stage here. So I will create a development stage, a dev stage and I will deploy our API you deploy the on dev so I will copy when I just deploy the API now I have a external a external endpoint for that API I will copy the link and I will make an external test to that API I will access that API from. I will test with Postman. So, uh, let's open a Postman window here. Let's create a request. It will be a post. And you have to create a body for that post. So let's uh, put a body here. This body you have uh, first. Also have last name. First name will be from and from post from post. Let's test it. Our serves. Here, he, you are, we are with our result. So, our postman has been executed. Our postman access our API gateway and our API gateway access our lambda function so that is the way you one of the ways you can use lambda function and important to know lambda function on lambda function you only pay for the requests you receive so you don't to pay in advance for hour or for month or for a year you just pay the request you receive and it's very cheap it's very cheap uh, you pay 20 cents for million requests and if you guys have any question you can leave a comment here you can also follow me on twitter at dorivalq and i will be happy to answer your question so that's it for now thank you for watching and i see you all next time